What I'm looking to achieve here is to create a couple of simple props for use in Bryce to test glass materials. The first one I'm going to create is a hollow sphere. So uh, right click and create a sphere. And the way I'm going to go about this is select this edge tool, select the edge that runs along the equator of this sphere, press L for loop, right click and loop cut. And then I'm just going to delete the top half so I've left with a hemisphere. Now select the face tool, select the face, right click and intrude it a little bit. It's going to be a thin walled sphere. Right, OK. Now I need to get the other half of the sphere and lock it back together again so I can encapsulate this interior. To achieve that I'm going to select, uh, well I'm going to deselect everything by pressing space first and use the uh, vertex tool here and just select this top edge of uh, vertexes and then right click and flatten those in the Y axis so now all these faces are perfectly flat select one of these inner edge faces use the face tool here make it easier select that right click and mirror and then the last thing to do is select the entire object right click and weld and it'll weld all those back together so now I'll just scroll the mouse and you can see I'm inside and to prove that if I select one of these interior faces and then use the W key to show the wireframe and then press plus 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 I can extend my selection hopefully around the oops interior I was pressing I instead of plus but there you go that's the interior if I press W again now to turn the wireframe view off you can see that's the interior of this sphere so the point is that under normal circumstances when you create a sphere the outside is uh, the visible face which is a bit weird like usually with a sheet of paper both sides of the paper you can see but in this case you can only see the outermost face which is why I needed this interior created for my test so now I've created a hollow sphere I'll select the entire sphere I can use right click and uh, do Sabian subdivision that's created an odd um, geometry at the top there so I'll press the S key to smooth it and that'll flatten things off so now I've just increased the number of polys in there W to show that I've still got the inner and outer skin right that's okay so I'll save that so I'll export that object as hollow sphere right the next thing I'm looking to create I'll just get rid of that I'll show you this situation with the uh, the one-sidedness I'll just create a standard sphere here select the entire object and right click and um, invert it and now I'm in a position this looks a bit weird where the, the, the shapes inside out from the ins this is an inside surface but the outside surface you can't see the outside of the sphere so this is what you get um, as weird geometry where we've got 2d faces but only one side is is visible so I'll just uh, I'll put that back to normal okay right so the next thing I need to do is create a bowl so, uh, but I want it to look like one of these glass bowls that I've seen here, something like um, that or that. So, with a fairly thick base and and a bit of a, an, a rim around the edge, so uh, so it's not too sharp. So, what I shall do is uh, I'll select this top vertex here, then select the face, and uh, I'll extend my selection a bit and intrude again. So, I just intrude it. So it's fairly thick glass that I'm going for. And if I press W that will show me the wireframe and you can see that it's a fairly uniform thickness the glass I've made and I'm not aiming for that because I, I want it to look like a, a real realistic sort of glass bowl. So right click and scale axis and I'll scale the Y axis and then if I now move this selection up along the Y axis I can thicken the base out a bit. It still leaves me with uh, fairly thick glass at these edges here. And as, so what I'm going to do is press W again, deselect by pressing space and flatten the base of this a bit. So I could do that by selecting all these faces, go into the vertexes and right click, flatten along the Y axis again. And then to give it a bit of shape, I could select one of these edges. I'll press L for loop and bevel it a bit. And that will tend to, when it's smooth, sharpen that edge up slightly. Uh, for this top edge, if I select this edge tool again, select one of these little interior edges and press G, that'll extend the selection right around the outside, then switch to face so that face is selected, right click and then I'll extrude normally just a bit, press plus to in extend the selection and then extrude again normally, 
so that's created my thickened edge there and then select the entire shape and press S for smooth a couple of times and you can see that's now wound it around on the outside there and the base has been flattened off and there's a few more bits of geometry there to, uh, to tighten that curve at the bottom and if I press W now you can see that we've got this thickened base which is what I was aiming for from the uh, the pictures I was using as an example so I've got my hollow um, glass spheres and my bowls so I'm ready to do my test so I just need to export this object now set it back to normal so file export obj and call that uh, bowl and save that so now I'm ready to switch to do my testing in Bryce which I shall do in another video so anyway there you go hope you found that helpful and useful and you'll uh, have a go at modeling these simple shapes in Wings 3D